Today we are going to study about uh, natural resources and biodiversity. This is unit 6. So inside unit 6 we are talking about natural resources, concept of biodiversity, biodiversity by ecological belts, rare animal and plants of Nepal, and adverse effects on uh, biodiversity and conservation methods. So let's move on to the first slide. In first slide, I will be giving the introduction of natural resources. Okay, what is natural resource? All of us know the resources which are gifted by nature is natural resource. So from wikipedia.org, if we see the definition, we can say natural resources are resources that exist without any actions of humankind. So natural resources exist without any effect, without any work of humankind. Human beings cannot make the natural resources. So they exist without any action of humankind. They exist naturally. They are there naturally. No human being can make natural resources. So this may include all the valued characteristics like uh, commercial and industrial use, aesthetic value means the value of beauty. So natural resources increase the beauty of uh, the environment. So this is aesthetic value. The scientific interest for different study and researches also it is used and cultural value as well. Natural resources have got cultural value also. On Earth, it includes sunlight, atmosphere, water, land, including all the minerals, along with all vegetation and animal life. So, now let's go on to next definition. Natural resources are the substances that occur naturally and can be used for specific objectives like economic gain. So, they are the substances which occur naturally as we discussed earlier and they can be used for different specific objectives uh, including economic gain we have discussed here aesthetic value scientific interest cultural value and many other importances are there so natural resources are the combination of biotic uh, diversity or you can say biodiversity and geodiversity so biodiversity includes all the plants and animals geodiversity includes other non-living components now let's uh, move on to next slide so this is the classification of natural resources how can we classify natural resources there are different bases of classification of natural resources among them and their availability and renewability is one criteria it means how much they are available uh, how long they will be available and can they be renewed or not can they be regenerated or not according to that uh, natural resources are classified in three types first is perpetual resource second is renewable resources or non-renewable resources so look here perpetual resources what are perpetual resources at first i would like to request you to look uh, through the examples look here solar energy wind tides flowing water they are perpetual resources and uh, fresh air fertile soil fresh water plants and animals they are renewable resources and uh, fossil fuels metallic minerals like gold copper non-metallic minerals like magnesite limestone these are uh, non-renewable resources so please all of you look at the examples and think carefully what are the differences between perpetual renewable and non-renewable resources okay now let's go on to perpetual resource the resources which never deplete which never deplete despite their continuous use it means even if we use them continuously even if we use the resources continuously they don't deplete they don't get finished that type of natural resources are called perpetual resources for example solar energy cannot be depleted even if we use it more and more so these types of resources are perpetual resources now what are re renewable resources as the name suggests the resources which can be renewed or which can be regenerated 
which can be self-renewed in certain duration of time. They are called renewable resources. They can be renewed. They can be self-renewed or they can be regenerated in certain period of time. For example, fresh air and plants and animals, even they are uh, finished, they can be renewed. They can be regenerated. They can also be depleted if overused. But one main important thing you have to remember is renewable resources can also get finished but even they are finished in a certain period of time they can be renewed or they can be regenerated okay but it will take a long period of time so we need to use renewable resources very carefully and next is non-renewable resources which cannot be regenerated once they are finished once they are finished or exhausted they cannot be regenerated again and again like our fossil fuels like petrol diesel kerosene and other minerals like gold copper and magnesite once they are finished in the store of the earth they can never be regained so they are non-renewable resources so here after reading this slide you have to be able to differentiate between renewable and non-renewable resources this is a very important question asked in exam so please uh, try to write the differences between renewable and non-renewable resources so the main difference is renewable resources can be renewed or regenerated non-renewable resources cannot be renewed or cannot be regenerated after uh, they are finished so you can give the examples as well as uh, difference and other many points you can collect from internet or from any other sources please try it once if you have any difficulty i will make the video on difference between renewable and non-renewable resources as well